Because, you know, I'm a comedian. Yeah, we're a little competitive. So when we, we did that first table read and the whole cast was there. Um, I've done table reads where part of the cast wasn't there for whatever. We yeah. were all there. And it was very apparent that this script was set up for Kev to hit a home run. Well, I, right? Yeah. He, I, mean, I was sitting there like, damn, he got, he got that funny line? <laughs> He got that funny line. <laughs> like, you watching yeah, everything going on? <laughs> yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I want to ask you about <clears throat> think like a man. Man, you killed them parts, bro. Both parts, you know, both yeah. times. Like, like, yeah, I know. You killed it. No, no, you killed it. I loved it, bro. Man, I did. And to be honest with you, you, you act this part out. My wife's like, I like the part where he wins at the end with the dollar. I'm like, no, nah, <laughs> yeah. hell no. Nah. It was a lot more going on than that. You're <laughs> there was. But how hard, like, I how difficult that. was it during during that time thinking back of put you know dealing with all of that at that time? Uh, I, that was that was some of the best times of my life because I that was the time I think at that time of my career. I was doing okay, but my career was kind of on a hamster wheel. Okay. I was selling the same amount of tickets. I kind of knew every week what I was going to do, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'll never forget, I was I was meeting with this guy, Rodney Barnes, about a different project. And we sit down at Hugo's in, um, in L.A., this restaurant. He goes, hey, I just, he goes, man, I just was with Will Packer last week, wow. and your name came up about this movie. And I said, I'm going to call him. So I called him at the table. I said, Will, what's this Brokeback Mountain 2 you're doing, man? What, what you want? And he was like, he, goes, he said, nah, G, I got this movie, man. He goes, we, we need a white guy that can hang out with black guys, but not try to act black, but still give him shit. Yeah. But he's got to be white. He wow. Goes, so I'm pitching you the screen gems right now for the part. Yeah. And I go, I go, I was, look, I'm in. I think I was like the first or second guy to sign on. Wow. Because I, I had told my i never forget my manager and my agent at the time. I was like, yeah, they, they're, I think it's favor nations, which yeah, means yeah, we yeah. all get paid the same, mm -hmm. excluding Kevin, right? Obviously, Kevin's yeah, yeah, guy, but Yeah, he's crazy. But really. um, I said, let them negotiate. What are we negotiating for? Yeah, We yeah. just fall back. <laughs> and I'm like, let let Gabrielle and Michael Ealy, and let, let them do all the, get the money up, and we'll just fall back and be like, all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what am I, what am I going to do? I'm going to stay my ground. Well, no. Hey, y'all killed said, no. So that, that's why I was like, just sign on. And then when it's time, I'm, here's the thing. I was going to say yes regardless. <laughs> right. When I kept seeing who, who they were getting or who they were wow. going after, yeah, I was like, like yeah, got to be on it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was, I mean, they could offer me SAG minimum. I was going to say yes. Yeah, yeah. Looking back. So, well, yeah, you fucked up. Could have wow. got a deal. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I could never understand because a lot of times people always say, anytime you have a movie and you have so many A-listers on one movie, people always say it's never usually going to be a good movie, but that was, was an a great awesome, movie. Right. Awesome so I'm movie. like, do you believe that theory? No. I think when you got people that secure that aren't worried about taking the shine. Cause you know, I'm a comedian. Yeah, we're a little competitive. So when we, we did that first table read and the whole cast was there. Um, I've done table reads where part of the cast wasn't there for whatever, we yeah. were all there. And it was very apparent that this script was set up for Kev to hit a home run, well, I, right? Yeah. He, I, mean, I was sitting there like, damn, he got, he got that funny line? <laughs> He got that funny line. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. you watching yeah, everything going on? So, so I was just like, um, Jerry Ferreira said it best. He goes, after that table read, we knew it was set up for Kev to hit a home run. We just didn't know how far he was going to hit it. Yeah, right? yeah. And he hit out the park. He did. Right? Yeah. He did. But and he he'll say this. He hit out the park because we were with him. Yeah, we yeah. wanted him to hit the home yeah, run. Yeah. There was no jealousy, that animosity. Yeah. I love it. Even when we did the the press run, right? Yeah. Even when the poster came out, yeah. I wasn't on it. Oh damn! You know, like my my team was upset. Yeah, I was like, ah, yeah, you want to be on the poster, but I'm not tripping. No, I no, was no, like, no. I'm in the movie. And exactly. Yeah, yeah, Nobody yeah. ever said, you know, hey, you were you were good on the poster. Hell <laughs> no, hell no. no. You know. So even then, like we still got we still got our group text with each other, mm -hmm. and we're still like I say we're like cousins. You don't see your cousins every day. I don't think you. What was the best movie that Kevin has been in? Think like a man. That's your best. I don't best. know why he keeps saying we're, he's when he does a new movie. He goes, "Yeah, I've raised the bar with this one." I'd be like, "Yo, your best movie is Think Like a Man, bro." Wow. That was the best one. I stand on that. And not because I was in it, but yeah, I might have a little bit to do with it. Part one or part two? Part, ah, 
Mm-hmm. Part one was better in part two. My part was better in part two than part one because I had a oh, bigger okay. part. Yeah. But if I'm being honest with myself, <clears throat> part one, there's not a dead point in it. There's wow. not a dead point in that movie, and it came at the right time. It was like a, a predominantly black <clears throat> romantic comedy that was hitting all the points in relationships. And I was just like, I, even when I saw it, like visually it was good. The one thing we, we, we laugh about though is we were, we were with Ely the whole shoot. We were shooting scenes with them. And then the movie comes out and <laughs> every time he's on the screen, he's like, yeah, I made the, <laughs> I made the, the duck with the mango salsa <laughs> with a little extra water. I go, what, what were you talking like that? It's not how we took it when we, got, when we did the movie. I go, what, what just happened? Wow. Like, I, I was like, when it came out, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. He you did not it. sound like that. No, no, I was no, no. sitting next to you in that scene. <laughs> hey, I just might want to fall back a little bit. That's crazy. The, the, the best part, the, the funniest, the funniest part. days on set was when we were in Rush Street, which is a bar in Culver City, where we shot majority oh, of those bar scenes because I, Ely was next to me for some reason, most of them, and I'd be trying to break them. And if I could break Ely, I know it was funny. Yeah, and yeah. The outtakes, like I would just, because they tell me, Tim, God bless them, the director would be like, just go off cuff, do give us one take off on the script, but go off cuff. So I was just rambling sometimes. <laughs> And I would just look up, and I, as I'm rambling, I'm waiting to see if I could break Ely. Like, you know, is he breaking? Is he breaking? Is he, if I can get him, I was like, all right. You know you got it take. at that point, man. How yeah. was it that other movie, the uh, On the Strip? Yeah, on the Strip, boy. Back that's on the Strip? It. Back yeah, on back the Strip. On, y'all just, it just come out of nowhere. I'm like, what is that movie? I and know. I don't know. Yeah. It looked like you had a lot of fun. Oh, that was a ball, too. That was Vegas, too. Yeah, that, that was Vegas, two, too. Yeah. Two movies in Vegas where I was living there. You can have Vegas. I've had my fun in Vegas. <laughs> leave it to somebody else. When, when, the difference is, when we shot Think Like a Man 2, I was going out on the weekends, right? Okay, mm-hmm. okay. We shot back on the strip, man. I was I was at the coffee bar. The <laughs> yeah, that was a bad, but that was a time when you had been through that the divorce, divorce thing. The middle so, divorce. Come in, phase on time. He's like, man, we was messing with him on set, oh, man. And that's the beauty of friends. <laughs> that's why you uh, comedians, God love them. They know how to just hit you in your back like that. <laughs> but it's so funny. Because one time, I came down, and it was JB... Bill, Faison, and Wesley. Yeah. And they were all talking. And I just ed- I butted my stomach in the conversation. They go, hey, what are you guys talking about? And Faison goes, our families. <laughs> <laughs> go, you motherfucker. That's the way you go do it. He loved it. I was like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it's funny, man. He, I know in his stand-up, he talk about divorce a lot. Talk about take out the trash. He got this one joke. My wife get mad. I I'm like it, laughing the whole time because it. it's like I'm that's how it be in these marriages, yeah. man. Facts. One thing, one small thing can knock this whole thing out of yeah. whack. Yeah, you know yeah, like a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't write right, though. You right. Yeah. Yeah. One thing can knock this marriage out of whack like a fucking donkey. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.